You want one? You want a pizza? <laughs> all right. Well, it's been a while since I've actually been able to do a video at all today, so um, I thought I'd just do one right now. But uh, before I get into today's video, today's video is spawn uh, brought to you by Liquid Death. All right. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Oh, is he drinking beer? Is he drinking alcohol? No, it's water. It's actually uh, but not just water. Water in a can. Mountain water that'll uh, murder your thirst. <laughs> and uh, a lot of things that I would actually see when I would actually walk in these stores is that uh, these actually I never seen the ones with like the 12 pack, but uh, what do you know? They actually have them. <laughs> Yeah, so apparently this came with like a, uh, what was it, an 8-pack or something? And, uh, yeah, you can get one of these, like, really easily. If you want to actually support your, uh, 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 the, the, uh the sponsors of this, uh, video, the average aluminum can contains 70% recycled material, and the plastic bottle only contains 3%. So that's actually saving the world better, in a better way. So, if you want to actually, uh, preserve the world as long as you can, don't forget, like with death, there for you. And, uh, yeah, if you ever enjoy, uh, like, uh, if you ever want to, like, uh, so, so set up, like, getting these things, and if you're, like, interested, uh, they're available on, like, stores and stuff. They're, like, they're available on, like, the public storefronts. Um, I'm not sure what their regions are, but, yeah, they're really good. I mean, honestly, Mountain Water, the, I like how they actually, like, put, like, an expiration date on this for 2027, even though it's, there's no, like, water could basically last a lifetime, but, hey, the, but yeah, as you can see, they the casing though, when you flip it to the side, it has like a little recycling logo, like as you can see right there. I don't know if we can, but yeah, you see that saving the planet and also uh uh, de de uh rehydrating people. Like Dawn of D always says, stay hydrated. Thank you, uh, Liquid Death, for being our today's sponsor. Alright, what's up guys, Dawn D605 here, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use Citra on the 3S emulator. Now, apparently there's been a requested feature of this, and someone told me in the comments that I may, uh, asked me maybe I should make a video of this. So I thought, yeah, maybe I sh I'll do it. So, uh, to be get started, first you want to hit that uh, yellow download button, and then I'm not going to do it because I already have Citra installed, supposedly. If I don't, I'll probably uh, go through that again. Let me see. All right, so I'm gonna just download it here right now. And what you wanna do? I'll just do it as an example. So basically, you click your uh, build for the uh, thing. You can do Windows, Mac, Linux, or Android. But currently, uh, I'm gonna do Windows, and it's gonna pop up a little a, a download pop up here. No, you actually have to go to here, and then it'll pop it up. There we go. Then you open the file, extract it. Extract, and then open the window with Citra Windows. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to uh, Citra QT. So this is basically where your ROMs will be. If you don't have any ROMs, I'm not going to tell you how to get them. Uh, back them up legally, uh, of course. But how it will work is you basically got little configurations that you can set up. So basically my uh, setup is a little different. Seven. Like local games or something. I don't know. This doesn't support like online play at the moment. There you go. 
also add cheats. Um, this is not gonna be a full like what guide on how to set up side jobs, but I will show like what you do to set up the ROMs. Like the ability to uh use them. Like if you have them backed up already, what you go is you go to install CIA and you basically just download your located ROM there. I think that's how you do it. Oh, it's you can also add tasks, um, like if you go to, I believe it was, no, the only clock of our clothes the emulation part. Oh yeah, it says add new game directory, so that's what you want to do if you want to like add ROMs or something, you double click that and then add your ROMs there. But that just about does it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye.